Um, firstly, I really want to bless God for another year, 2024. I give God the glory on behalf of um, all members of Divine Family, the students, the members of staff, our esteemed parents, and everyone that has association with Divine Kids International Academy. I thank God for the gift of life, for spreading our lives, for another opportunity to see a brand new year, and uh, we hope for more beautiful years to come. And um, on this note, my aspiration for Divine Kids International Academy, the students, the parents, the members of staff, is um, for God to you know keep us, protect us, excuse us from every rule of the land. And uh, there's one prayer I do pray for everyone that has a situation with the Vikings International Academy, that no matter how tough it is in this nation, that it will be tough for us and our family members of Jesus Day. And I still maintain it this year, that we will not lack anything good. That the Lord Almighty will continue to sort us out one way or the other. And for the students, my exhortation to them is for them to, you know, know the reason why they are being sent here. It's not easy, you know, for parents, you know, paying the school fees. The lot, lot, lot of us struggle to pay school fees. So for me, if parents, you know, strive, struggle to ensure that, you know, school fees are paid, the, 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 the students on their own part should sit up to ensure that they make their parents proud. How would they make them proud? They have to reach, you know, verse. They reach widely so that wherever, you know, they come across, wherever, wherever questions will come from in their tests, in their exams, they'll be able to surmount it. The only, the only uh, thank you they can give to their parents now is to ensure that they, they do well in their tests and examination and make their parents uh, proud. And to the teachers, um, I used to say that teaching job is tasking. But that is, you know, the area where we have found ourselves. So we don't have option. We can't do less. We won't cut corners. We have to do our best to ensure that our children get the best. We have to, you know, deliver. Parents pay money for value. So at the end of the day, my take is, you know, parents must have value for their money. So teachers must sit up. Teachers must be about their duty from time to time to ensure that you know, syllabuses are covered, they, they, they go to the classroom where they're supposed to be there, you know, impact knowledge the way it should. That's um, for the teachers. And for our parents, we thank them for their patronage always. And we equally encourage them that when school fees are being paid and you know, paid on time, it helps us to plan. And then uh, if a child is in school and school fees is being paid, the child concentrates more. But situation whereby they send children out of school because of the um, lack of payment of school fees, it has a negative impact on the child. One, the child will be out of school. The period the child is out of school, a lot of um, lessons must have been taught. There is no way the child will be, child will be able to be, to be able to meet up, except if the child is exceptional. But even if the child is exceptional, the child has to struggle. The child has to read hard to be able to you know, meet up with others. So I encourage their parents that they should try as much as possible to meet up with payment of school fees so that the children don't get to be sent um, home. Because without this money, the, the school cannot run the way it should. If the children are not here, we can't be here. So, you know, we, we work hand in hand to ensure the success of these um, children. So please, parents, do your bit and I assure you we'll always do our part. Thank you so much. Regards.